Hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Alyssa Webb with eXp Realty in Billings, Montana. You can also call me the Montana Real Estate Mom. On my channel, you're going to hear about all things real estate related in Billings, Montana, or Montana in general, and also a little bit about my crazy life with five kids and somehow managing to balance it all. Today, I am going to share with you exactly what happens on closing day. You might be just thinking about buying a house. Maybe you've applied for a mortgage. Maybe you're in the middle of the home buying process. But closing day is such an exciting day because that's when you officially become a homeowner. Closing day is the very last day in the home buying process. This is where you are going to sign all those legal documents for home ownership. They're gonna get recorded with your local county. You're gonna get the keys and you are going to step foot into your home as a homeowner. It is super exciting. So every state is different, but in here in Montana, we are an escrow state. So our closings are actually at a title company. While at the title company, uh, you'll see all the documents, big stack of papers. Uh, you're gonna be signing your deed. You're going to be signing all your loan documents. You are going to be signing the promissory note to pay back to the bank if you're getting a mortgage. Um, so you're gonna sign all of that stuff. You bring in a picture ID. Um, we're going to want to make sure that it's you that's signing those documents. I know the title company will ask for that. And you will also want to bring your funds for closing. So most of the time, buyers will need to bring funds to closing unless you have like a USDA or VA loan that is zero down. Um, you might have a down payment or some closing costs um, to take care of. And if you do, make sure you bring either a cashier's check or you arrange to wire the funds before closing day. A quick note about wiring funds. It is completely okay to wire funds from your bank to the title company for your closing costs, but you need to be aware about wiring fraud. There's people out there trying to scam others to get money. So if you get a fishy email that just doesn't make sense or asking to wire money, always call your agent first or call the title company directly. Do not just respond to an email by wiring money. You want to make sure that you're receiving instructions directly from your title company, the escrow officer that's handling the closing. Make sure you communicate with not only the title company, but your agent as well. Initiate it through your bank. You just wanna make sure you're going through the proper channels and you're not responding to some fishy weird email asking you to wire money because it does happen. So be aware of that. So what's going to happen when you sign everything? Your lender is going to distribute the funds to the title company. Then the title company is going to record the deed with the county. So what's really important here is like you're going to get your keys after this, right? And you're a homeowner. But you need to go back to your buy-sell agreement, which is your contract for purchase, and you need to figure out what was checked off for possession. So there's two check boxes there. And basically, one is saying that when the closing agent is in receipt of all funds, and then the second option is upon recording of the deed. Those are very two types of different types of possession. So if you're not sure, make sure you ask your realtor which one was selected. And um, you don't wanna be moving in if you checked off upon recording of the deed and you just start moving all your stuff in 30 minutes after closing. Um, sometimes recording of the deed happens like a few hours after closing. And if you're closing at like 4.30 in the afternoon, it may not record with the county until the next morning. So make sure you clarify with your agent how you specified to take possession of the property. But it's super exciting when you sign everything. You're gonna get those keys, the garage door opener if you have a garage, and you are on your way to homeownership. Yay!
stay tuned for my next video on how to get your offer accepted in this crazy seller's market.